and I'm here to uh, give you an introductory lesson to the guitar style of Waylon Jennings, which um, not many people, if anyone, have really done. Uh, there's lessons of everyone here by him, and the few things I have seen haven't kind of touched on the essential elements of Waylon's style. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is just run you through a few really, really Kind of basic elements of, of his style and tell you what, what it is that you need to do in order to play like him because he didn't play like anyone else really. He had a bunch of licks that he did um, in certain keys or whatever um, and they were really what made his style what it was. Uh, so you know, there's the, if he's in A, he's going to be doing this, probably, in most solos, and certain rhythmic ideas, or riffs, or whatever you want to call them, you know, like, they're just playing around with an A chord, um, popular one when he goes to D is like, uh, something like that, there you go, uh, and, I mean, the, there's the, uh, the drop D stuff, the, I mean standard tuning here, but uh, the drop D stuff that he does where he'll, uh, if you tune your low E string down to D, um, and, you, and you you pull down on here, um, this of course is normally a G, it becomes an F, he'll do that and then pull that off into, into a D chord and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and he'll do it in the key of A as well, so then you, you're in standard, you pull that down, that's, that's a G. Um, all sorts of stuff like that, the chicken pig, and there's so much to go through, um, and this is a style that I haven't played in quite some time, it's how I learned to play, and he's by far my favourite artist, but I'm kind of doing more hard rock and all that stuff at the moment, I've got a million songs to learn and write and all that, um, but it all started with Waylon. Um, so, a few really basic things to kind of prepare you here, uh, um, obviously, a uh, Telecaster is the best type of guitar to be using for, for this style of music, um, and particularly Waylon, of course. Um, I've got uh, AMG pickups in this this one, which he used from like, uh, I think 1990 onward, something like that. Um, I'm, I'm just running this through uh, Guitar Rig in Pro Tools and through a stereo. Uh, I'm not trying to nail his tone at all. I'll get to that later on because most people get it completely wrong. Uh, don't You can't just plug a Telecaster into a phaser, into a Fender amp, and expect to get his tone. For a, to begin with, a lot of his recordings were done straight into the desk. And the whole phaser thing, he didn't actually use it that much. It's overstated how much he used it, because listen to anything pre... Uh, I think the first appearance was on the Rambler Man. Is there anything pre Rambler Man? He doesn't use the phaser didn't have a phaser, so, <laughs> you know, couldn't use it, uh, and listen to anything after, um, probably, after 85, he didn't really use it in the studio with that city, he didn't play in the studio a lot, again, until the 90s, but, um, live, yeah, he used it, but it's not that common, like, everyone just focuses on the, the tracks that have it, he didn't use it that much, and often when he did, um, in the studio, it wasn't saturating the sound the way most people have it saturating the sound. Uh, there's, a, there's bootlegs of him where, yeah, it, it runs over everything, and to me, that's his worst tone. His best tone, I think, was in the 90s, when he had kind of like a... It was a TC Electronics chorus, but he used it almost like a detune that you'd use on like an Eventide harmonizer uh, rack thing, which I've got a touch of that on here. I don't know if you can... If you can hear that, it's like, I'll do it without vibrato. You get it to where it sounds almost out of tune, um, and then kind of work with that. But, uh, 
That's these are some of the tonal things. I've nailed his tone pretty closely before because most of it is just in the fingers. You know, you get the right gear set up. If you don't play like him, you're not going to sound like him. Uh, whereas if you do, then that's a big piece of the puzzle. Uh, so a good thing to use are uh, these Fender. I think they're called th number three, four, six picks. They're the ones he used. I've got one of his around here. I won't get it out now, but um, I use the light gauge for this, I think he used it, it felt like, the one I've got feels kind of like between light and medium, but whatever, you know, um, and, you know, rhythm, I see all these guys cover Waylon songs, and like, they strum with their pick, and that's just wrong, uh, because he was, he used his thumb for the rhythm, so, excuse that, my nail cord, <laughs> I'm not used to doing this, <laughs> Usually playing other stuff, but um, so here he kind of accentuates certain notes with um. I don't know if you can kind of make this out, but there's kind of where the knuckle is on the bottom part. There's like a hard bone, whatever, and. kind of slap certain notes with it, um, which is what made his rhythm playing so cool. And, you know, even when it got faster, you know. Um, as for picking, you know, you're using pick, uh, and the, uh, middle and, and ring finger, um, I can't, I can't honestly remember if I've seen him use his pinky or not. I've, I don't use it when I do this stuff. He's never really playing enough notes to need it. Uh, and you, you kind of, you're getting the strings to pop with that chicken pick. Like, you know, like that. Uh, you don't, a lot of people also screw up when they play stuff. And they try and do it all with a pick, which is just stupid. That's not how he played. Um, uh, what else? Is there that you need to prepare? You to use light strings. Um, these strings have been on here forever because I usually use um, some other guitars. So I got uh, this one <laughs> that I use, and a few other sort of music man type ones. Um, so I've got to restring this Telecaster, but um, you know, a nice fresh set of strings will get you close to the sound. Uh, use pure nickel, please. Everyone goes out and gets these like vintage reissue guitars and they put modern strings on it, it makes no sense. Uh, I use when well, I can get my hands on them, which is not all the time, but I use a uh, Fender original 150s, 9 to 42, if you can get 9 to 40, get those, that's what he used. Um, not necessarily in that brand expression, he kind of switched around a bit, but most of his career, as far as I know, pure nickel, 9 to 40 or thereabouts. Um, you know, get some of these picks, and you'll be ready to start. Um, and just keep in mind, he didn't play like like someone who knew what they were doing in a theoretical sense. You know, he kind of he just came up with this awesome vocabulary of licks, and they were the Wayland sound. You know, um, you can pick his playing in two seconds, like any great stylist of any instrument or or anything. You know. Um, so, you know, don't worry about playing... If you want to play his solos, right, think about the shapes that he uses, and don't try and play an A chord in the conventional sense. I'm not sure. I've never done this before. I'm not sure if you can see this great. But, um, you know, you wouldn't play it like that. Play it with one finger. Because then it frees up all these fingers to... You know, not that that's really a whale and sounding lick, but you get the idea. Um, <clears throat> even an E chord. So an A... right there. Ain't no good chain gang. Uh, T for Texas, you know, all these different things you can do. Once you understand his style, you can play like him in a heartbeat. I can play Waylon solos that, you know, you'd say, oh, what song is that from? And it's just something I've made up. 
because I understand his musical vocabulary and how he went about doing what he did, um, it's pretty easy to do that. So I'm going to get into that, but just kind of wanted to give this somewhat brief introduction now to, to what he does, and um, I'll try and get a better setup where I can show you stuff, film close up and that, but um, there's just a few things to think about in preparation for playing in this style, because it's, to me, you know, I showed the Van Halen guitar and all that, but I reckon it's probably the coolest guitar style I've ever heard. You know, I play all sorts of other stuff, but I always, you know, come back and listen to Waylon Live, or, um, like I said, The Ramblin' Man, or, you know, one of my favourite guitar albums for him is the children's album that he does. It's the tone on that is so cool. Um, all the bootlegs that I've got or anything, like that, that's what I come back to. Because um, that's what got me started. And I used to play it all wrong. I used to play it like just single notes, and I thought it was all his amp or whatever doing the work. I, you know, I used to play, say, T for Texas. I like. I wouldn't figure out how it sounded wrong, or why it sounded wrong. And it's, you know, and then if I, if I go. do this because I've wanted to do this for years. So anyway, stay tuned, uh, there'll be a lot more to come. 